Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. All right, what's going on, guys? So this is going to be another edition of uh, Georgia Picks. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up uh, bowl games through the next uh, couple of days. We're going to go all the way until December the 26th, which will be Bowling Green and New Mexico State. Tuesday the 27th, a lot more bowl games start happening, so I'm going to do a different video for that. Right now we're going to do six games, uh, and I've got Jay Ritt over here, uh, not on camera, but he is going to be giving a little bit verbal stuff to you about his bowl picks, my bowl picks, and uh, tell you which teams we think are going to come out on top in their bowl games. So let's just go ahead and start. Tonight's game, Wednesday, uh, 1221, is going to be the South Alabama Cougars versus Western Kentucky. Uh, me personally, I have South Alabama on that. They've had a pretty good year, 7-5 uh, on the season. Western Kentucky, I don't think, has the offense uh, that they need to be able to play with South Alabama. So I've got uh, South Alabama by 7. Uh, Jay Ritt, what do you think? I mean, that's a pretty good pick. I'm actually going to go the opposite, though. South Alabama's looking for their first bowl win. I think that Kentucky, Western Kentucky's got a little more experience in these types of games. Not much. I don't know a whole lot about both teams, but I think Western Kentucky's probably going to pull it out by just a little bit, like some last-second magic. All right, all right. So that's Wednesday's bowl game. Uh, Thursday is going to be the Armed Forces Bowl with the Baylor Bears and the Air Force Falcons. Now, I feel terrible about this. Trust me, I know that Air Force has more wins on the season than Baylor, but I'm picking Baylor just because they, they their round of uh, competition is so much stronger. Their schedule is way stronger than Air Force. I do think Baylor comes out on this. I hate not picking a service academy in the Armed Forces Bowl. I know it's crazy, but I'm going to take uh, Dave Aranda and Baylor Bears over the Air Force. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Baylor played a real close game against TCU, one of the teams that's in the actual college football playoff. Only lost to them by a point. I, I think that the competition has just been better on the year for Baylor. I think that's part of the reason why they're only 6-6 six and six on the season, but I just think they pull this one out, and I'm sorry. I'm as American prideful as they come, but I think they pull this one out. Interesting, the, the game he's talking about, TCU had 12 seconds to run the field goal uh, squad out there. They got it out there, had no timeout, it was a running clock, and they kicked it. The kicker didn't square up anything, he just stood there, went and kicked the ball, kicked a 40-yarder to beat Baylor, because Baylor had who is now number three TCU on the ropes for most of that game. So I think we both picked Baylor over the Air Force and the Armed Forces Bowl. Friday, we've got two bowl games. You'll get to enjoy a, a double feature of college football. The first game is going to be Houston uh, and Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns. Personally, I think Houston has them. Uh, Louisiana has kind of been a little lost since Billy Napier went over. Now they are obviously bowl eligible, but losing their head coach last year kind of put them in a weird spot. Houston has consistency, and I think consistency wins. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're starting to get their squad together, built a little more. They're 7-5 on the year. I'd have to give the edge to Houston in that one, even though it is fun to say Rage and Cajun. Uh, and then the next one is going to be an SEC team taking on the ACC. It's going to be Mizzou uh, and Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons. Personally, I think Missouri's defense keeps them in this game uh, and ultimately wins it. That defense, while a bit undersized, has been stingy all year. Uh, kept Georgia to 26 points, and they had a game in Como this year early. So that is one of those things that I think gives them the edge over Wake is going to be the defense, so I've got Missouri. Uh, I actually think the opposite. I love the SEC, huge Georgia fan. I just I just think that Wake Forest pulls this one out. Wake Forest has had a really good team. That quarterback is, is I think he is second in the ACC at all time in touchdowns thrown. 
I just, I gotta go with Wake over Mizzou. Yeah, he's trying to pull his best Stetson Bennett. It's almost like he's been there seven years. Uh, so, uh, I've got Mizzou. He's got Wake uh, on Friday. So, Saturday, the game of the day is going to be Middle Tennessee and San Diego State, the Aztecs. Uh, who do you got? Uh, uh, I actually, even though San Diego State's favored, I think I'm going to go Middle Tennessee on this one. It's a little bit of an underdog pick, but both teams are 7-5. and five. That's just where my gut's leading me. I think that, that I think they're going to pull this one off. I'm on the same page with this, the Tigers of Middle Tennessee. I like them. They are a hot team to upset when they are heavily underdogs. It's almost like a, a Purdue team. Like the, the Purdue teams do really, really well as underdogs. Middle Tennessee does that, and I kind of like them in this one. I think San Diego State had a little bit loftier expectation on the season. Didn't make it there. I don't know that they get up for this game, where Middle Tennessee definitely will. It's, again, one of those uh, teams from the Deep South playing a West Coast team. Nine times out, well, not nine times, but seven times out of ten, the uh, the South team ends up taking it. So I'm going to take Middle Tennessee over the Aztecs as well. That is on Saturday, Christmas Eve. A lot of those uh, TVs will be tuned into NFL games. So be paying attention to this game too, Middle Tennessee, San Diego State. That could be the game of the year. I mean, it could be better than Ohio State, Georgia. Totally. Hey, Middle Tennessee already over. Uh, they already upset Miami once earlier in the season. That's what I'm saying. So. The U got took by Middle Tennessee. So Sunday is Christmas Day. That's the day off for College Bowl Day. Uh, those are going to be NFL games. So then we're going to move into Monday, 1226. That will be Bowling Green and New Mexico State. Who you got? Uh, honestly, I don't know anything about either one of these two teams. I know that as of right now, Bowling Green looks to be the favorite, but I am going with the underdog again because I love the underdog story. So I gotta go with New Mexico State. All right, well, I'm gonna lean the other way and there is no rhyme or reason to this pick except for the fact that one Aggies team has been a letdown all season. I think that spills over and this Aggies team will be a letdown in a bowl game. It's the day after Christmas. They travel further than Bowling Green does. So I'm gonna take the Bowling Green Falcons the day after Christmas. And uh, that will wrap up this one. There are your six games for the bowl pick -em. When we do get to uh, those games, we'll have a new video out previewing a bunch of different bowl games leading up to New Year's Eve and the New Year's Six Bowl, which will be a whole video in and of itself. Do a preview of Georgia and Ohio State, TCU and Michigan. So keep an eye out for that. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell us what you want to hear. See if uh, your fan base is mad at me because I didn't pick your team to win your bowl game. Argue with me. It's cool. It's fine. Thanks to Jay Red for coming in, giving his perspective on things. I think we split it. We agreed on three and disagreed on three. So it was a good one. We've got big football brains over here. Hopefully it works out. For one of us, I think it will. So we just want to say, fam jam, enjoy the Christmas season. Enjoy the amount of college football we're going to get because soon it'll be gone. And then we have to wait all the way until September. So have a very Merry Christmas, guys. We'll see you before the new year. Keep an eye out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And uh, hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload a new video. And then you can see if... I uh, picked your team or not. If Jay Ritt picked your team or not. And who knows, maybe John the Stone makes another appearance. So until next time, guys, Fam Jam, me, Jay Ritt. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We're out.